Hey guys, welcome back today to the Vanillaverse Survival Island series here on the Vanillaverse YouTube channel. Thank you for the massive love and support that you guys have been giving to both myself and Wells over here on this channel. It means a lot to see the amazing comments, all the subscribers coming in, all the likes and stuff. You guys really seem to be enjoying this series and it means a lot to us that... Oh, okay, he's like dying mid-air. It means a lot to us that you guys are enjoying it and participating in it and stuff. My sounds sound a little bit loud. don't know if that's just me, but... uh. Maybe it was, but uh, the plan for today, what I'm going to do at least, is uh, put a little bit of a storage area, because, uh, that's, that's not the ladder down, down, uh, because we're kind of running out of storage in our little hut in there, we're getting a lot of things, we're expanding um, the island, which is actually what Wells did last episode, as you can see, we can now get over there, we can get over to the ship over there, and I think we can reach the mushroom island actually as well. But uh, the island is expanding, but our storage is not, because we still only have these two things, which is wonderful, but uh, I would like it if we could perhaps just get a little bit of a bigger storage situation going on. I think that would be uh, the, the, the main thing to do for today. So I think my plan is going to be, I'm going to come off of this, maybe over to this way. I have a path going over to there, like a little, a little bridge or something, or like a dangly bridge of some sort. And build another platform there on which we are going to uh, have... The, uh, the storage, I don't know if I want it to like dip slightly, ever so slightly and come back up, or if I just want it to uh, to just go straight. I feel like dipping slightly may look a little bit better, but I think my first thing to do is chop down this tree. Because uh, I think Wells planted this a couple episodes ago, I don't know whether to get the, the vines, I think he's got the vines. I think he got the vines to start a vine farm. Yeah, there's 12 vines in there, I'll leave that to him to do, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop down this tree... Sleep as it's becoming night time, get a few materials and stuff together and I'll meet you back up there where we'll start work on the storage area. So it seems that perhaps this uh this biome is actually a slime biome. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to try and Oh god, oh lord no you you're not the best way to take them on at all. You can get right out of it. Oh god. Oh, that was a little bit scary. Where did where did one of them go? Did one just despawn or was he like sinking? I'm trying to think what's the best way to take them on, because, oh god, oh god, no, no, <gasps> where are all these creepers coming from, why are there so many creepers here, what's going on, is there like a creeper spawner around here or something, suddenly there is mass creepers inbound, but uh, the slimes seem to be dying, which is not exactly my uh, my initial plan. Let's just go around the edge here. Get out of here. Oh. Uh, 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 no, I'm not going to get to them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of the water. Oh, Lord. Oh. That was close. Uh, well, we didn't get any slime blocks, uh, slimes then. But uh, it's good to know that slimes do spawn over here. So we can get them in future. Let's just uh, plop a couple torches down. So as to try not get anything spawning. That looks pretty cool from over here, actually. That does look pretty damn cool. But anyways, I chopped the tree down. So uh, I've got a load of wood and stuff here on me now. But I think I want to keep the theme. I'm thinking maybe we could do like... Uh, jungle wood in between and then oak wood over there. If we have enough... Do we have enough oak wood even? I think we probably do. Uh, yeah, let's keep that actually because we can do like a... A cobblestone trim if we wanted to. Where are all the other uh, the jungle saplings? Okay, we need one more jungle sapling, really, if possible. Hmm. Which we may not be able to get. Hello? Jungle saplings? No? No? Okay, I suppose we'll leave that then. But uh, what I'm thinking is a jungle wood sort of bridge across with then a, an oak slab. Oak uh, or an oak platform, even so. Let's just work quickly, see if we can work out a bridge shape and uh, get that done, and then we'll work on the uh, the the platform after that. So we'll come across here. So have we got a crafting table? We do. Uh, oh god! Oh god! Get out of here! <sighs> yes, yeah, so survive. Uh, spiders survive that, I think. So uh, we may need to just put in the slabs there, even if it means we miss out on a few things. Let's just uh, do that quickly now. Put slabs all the way around. Just because even if we do miss out on a few things, I'm pretty sure you can still hit mobs, I hope, at least. Um, I'd rather miss out on a few things than uh, 
than be hitched to my death, I think it's safe to say. So if we want something like this, how are we going to do this? Um, we need it to go down one. Do I have a water bucket? Hmm. Do we want it to go down one straight away, actually, maybe? Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to jump down here and risk it. I know it's cold. Oh, God, that went very low. That went far too low. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Whew. Let's, uh, let's probably not do that again then, Dan. Do I have a water bucket in here? I do. Uh, wonderful. Let's just do that. Head back up. See if we can, uh, pour some water off. Hang in the water and then get it coming underneath. I don't know how that's going to work or if it will work, but uh, it's what I'm going to try to do. So, water come off like that. There we go. Oh, Lord. Um... And then it'll have to... No! Oh, I just got rid of the water. Well, no, no. Oh. Damn it. So, interestingly, the water that I placed doesn't seem to be cold. I think it's just the water around the edge. Let's uh, get another bucket then, shall we? Oh, let's not throw that one out, though. Come on. Oh, did I pick it up? I didn't hear the sound. So, uh, <laughs> well, that clearly looks a little bit interesting for now, but uh, it will make more sense in just a little bit. I'm going to go away, finish off the bridge, because I seem to be having a little bit of trouble on camera. I'll be back to you when that's done. Okay, so uh, I've got the platform up. I don't know if you can quite see here. There you go. Uh, put the bridge across and got the platform up. Used uh, pretty much a lot of our oak wood, so that's why I've uh, replanted low down there. One's grown already. That is crazy quick. I literally just planted that a second before I came up. But uh, we've got this little thing coming across. I don't know if I want to have that like that or or not. We'll, we'll go with it for now, sure. Something like that. I mean, I feel like that's going to be too big and clunky, but maybe not. You know what, maybe not. Maybe that does look okay. Yeah, sure. We'll go with something like that for now. But, uh, how did I do? Did I go to the inside? Yeah, so uh, we're going to put all the fences around again. Oh, no, not like that, though. It's identical to that platform there. Is how I kind of want it to be. It's almost like a, a repeated sky platform type of thing. I hope I have enough fences. Uh... Because I'm kind of in trouble if I don't. Uh, 45 more fences. Surely that'll be... Oh, it'll be enough if I don't waste them all, Dan. There we go. Uh, yeah, it should be enough to get us back all the way over to here. There we go. So that is how what it's like. It's going to be like that. I haven't really planned out how the chests are going to go. Um, I'll be honest. But I think we could just put a load of chests up here and just have this solely as storage area. I mean, there's so much room we can expand. We can go up more and stuff. I need to make more torches as well, because we need to get lighting this up before the mobs spawn, and this becomes less efficient. But this is becoming crazy efficient right now. I mean, 50 bones. We've got another, like, 20 down there. When I started this episode, I'm pretty sure there was 30 bones in there. So that's that's some great efficiency for you. But um, uh, I'm going to use all this jungle wood pretty much on chests, I think. Do I want to do that? Uh, you know, let's just use half of that there. we still got that. Mm. But I feel like 16 isn't going to be too much. If we're putting them, like, in the corners there, uh, go too high or something, we could have it literally go like that all the way around, and then we have got a lot of storage, if that's the case. I mean, that's a lot of storage in itself, but we, uh, we don't have really that much wood to keep doing more. How much have they grown? I mean, it's tempting to cut those down, but I don't really want to cut down the scenery and stuff. Um, I kind of want to just go up to here and not have them in that bit. So, I'm sorry, Wells, if you're going to tell me off of this, but I am, uh, I'm going to use all the jungle night, uh, all the jungle wood. But uh, we've got more saplings. We can, we can regrow more. How many did I use? So, is this going to fit perfectly again? Because if it does, mm, what way are they all facing? They're all facing downwards. I guess it's probably smarter than to have them all facing downwards, so like that. Something like that. Uh, how have we ended up with an extra? Oh, because we did that in the middle, didn't we? So we got an extra two chests, but I mean, uh, for me, having now all this storage room and stuff, that's going to be nice and handy. Should I just do that? I feel like that kind of takes away from me a little bit. Let's, uh, 
let's put them down. So, we've got a lot of items and stuff that we need to move up here. Uh, so I guess that's kind of the next step. But we also have some... We need to, I need to make a load of signs. Spider, get out of here. Get out of here, spider. Can I not hit the spider? There we go, I can. Perfect. See, 63 bones. What? Didn't that just say 50 literally just now? This place is crazy efficient. I didn't realise quite how efficient it would be, but uh, that mob spawner is a, uh, a godsend. Okay, so we've got a lot of stories and stuff now. Let's quickly just head down and have a look at what the rope bridge looks like with those fences and stuff. And then I'll get moving all the items up. And I'll uh, end off the episode once we've got the storage room all completed. So, how does it look? Yeah, you know what? That isn't that isn't too bad. I almost do want to get rid of those extra ones there, though. So maybe I'll do that. But I'll go get all the items and stuff, and we can start ferrying them up there. Okay, so that is uh, all the items done. This is the final little trip we're going to take up to the top here. Still no animals spawning there, which is a little bit annoying. The sun is setting. That's not good, but uh, that kind of works with what I'm about to do. Because when we get up the top here and we've got all the items in, I'm just going to quickly run around all here on stuff with torches. Try and make it all lit up so that nothing spawns in here. But uh, what have we got? So there's some building blocks to go in here. Sure, you can go in there. I'll, I'll take you a quick tour. We've got wood, stone, building blocks. There's two things of them just because we'll probably have a lot. Food, dirt, tools, armor, farming. Anything that's wood. So that's like uh, uh, crafting tables, ladders, fences. One just for sticks because we had a lot of sticks. Saplings and leaves. These are the two chests of valuables. We've got a lot of valuables and stuff going on. These ones at the moment are empty. Don't end them around here. Or is that this thing? I don't know. But we've got two two chests just of miscellaneous stuff. And then this is actually the mob drop. So I've taken this. All of this stuff is out of over there. And uh, that'll probably eventually all start filling up. But uh, let's quickly get this all deposited before we uh, before we run out of time here. So this is all wood. Uh, that sort of wooden stuff can go in there. Tools. We've got a load of tools in, in here. There we go. Leather. What does that come under? We'll put that under misc, I think. Uh, your mob drop. Uh, saplings and leaves. There's a chest for that. Spider eye, you're a mob drop. Uh, let's put it in the top one there. You're a mob drop too. Fence gate, I guess you come under wooden items, as does doors, as do chests. Granite, you're a building block. Cobblestone, you're there. You can go in misc, Mr. Water Bottle. Uh, and you then go in food stuff. So that is quite a lot of food. How much coal do we have in it? We've got 21 in here. Let's just uh, <coughs> break up some of that, shall we? to uh, get some torches on the go because we need this to be fairly well lit up and stuff of course because we don't want our uh, mob farm be uh, becoming less productive and we don't want mobs all over the place as well so uh, let's just get this all lit up like so uh, put one in the middle just in there just in case and I imagine that should be fine let's put a couple just back here just in case there we go That'll do. That should be a uh, fairly... Um, I, don't, I don't really like that, but I think we might have to do that. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. What block is this on? Like there, maybe? Is that right? Yeah, it didn't look very uh, very centred, but I think it is right. Uh, I have a couple just across here, I suppose. There's mob spawning over there now, which is going to decrease this slightly. But, I mean, that's just since I've moved the mob stuff over there. And that's still spawning stuff in. So, clearly, it is a, it is fairly effective. That was a, that was not good. Oh, he's got an enchanted bow. I wonder if it's worth taking him on. Maybe if we sleep. He shouldn't despawn, but he may set on fire. At which point we can try and take... Oh, he's riding a spider as well. That is a highly uncommon thing to see. Get over there. Did you drop your bow? No. Doesn't seem as though you did. But you did drop some more things to put in the storage area. But that is going to be it, unfortunately, for today's episode, guys. Uh, quite a lot got done, actually. Uh, it may not have seemed like it with the length of the episode at the beginning, but uh, quite a lot got done. We did all of this. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Jesus. Everything's suddenly falling down. But uh, we got this bridge across here built. I did get rid of those two taller ones because I thought this looked a little bit better. And we now have a fully-fledged, uh, lovely storage area working working nicely so let's put the sticks back in there the string you can go in there i should oh i should maybe make one for torches uh, uh yeah 
I'll do that off camera anyway. I'll put one for torches like there or something. We'll then have a chest for torches. But that is going to be it for this episode. As I said, hello, Mr. Creeper. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. As ever, it has been my absolute pleasure. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.